Two days before the race, two days before the Absa Cape Epic, one of the biggest events that we do with the team through the entire season. Today it's very calm, so it gives us the time to check through the bikes. They got new bikes for the Epic again, the limited edition, very standard World Cup Epic, and that's what they're gonna ride. Today we're just gonna check through everything, and um, yeah, everything under control. We have done it now a few times, we know what we need to do, and uh, we are prepared, everything arrived in time. The riders are looking good, and um, yeah, today we work on bikes, and um, we go from there. It's Friday, it's a pretty chill day. Uh, two days before the start of the prologue of the Upside Cape Epic. There's not that much to do on a rest day. I just want to make sure the, the bike is perfect for tomorrow when we go out on the course. No, I feel excitement and also a bit of uh, tension, that's for sure. Uh, it's very good. I need the, the pressure and uh, that keeps me going. And it's going to be challenging. The weather doesn't look so good. Tomorrow, Saturday, we go and check out the prologue course. The three teams of us together, it will be like an hour and a half warm up and uh, good to know the course. So today we're going to check the Prologue route, which is open today, so it's nice to always know where you're going to go, especially tomorrow in the Prologue when you go flat out from the start. You know, I'm a little nervous, but not crazy, you know. I didn't do mistakes, you know, to, to be ready as I am. It will normally take me maybe one or two years, you know, maybe one or two epics and other races to learn from the mistakes where uh, Christoph, you know, told me straight away, okay, you have to do this, you have to do that. He told me all the secrets he learned over the years, so that's, you know, he, he won that race four times, so I think that's uh, why I feel ready now. Yeah, it's longer than last year. It's fast. It's very, very uh, bumpy the whole time, basically. Uh, Franti, he will be good on the on the flat sections. Uh, he has that horsepower, who can really push in the flat, and I really believe that's where we can make the difference. Saturday night at 7 p.m. And we're packing for the race. Uh, we leave tomorrow for the prologue, which starts at around 11 o'clock for us. Sam and I are just trying to go through and figure out exactly what we want to bring. Pillows. Single fitted sheets. Another single fitted sheet. Pillowcases. We set up the tent like the first night that we get there and then we don't move for three days. And then we take our, our bag and all of our sleeping stuff, even like the pillow. And everything has to come out. Yeah. Does it all have to fit in this bag? I freaking hate bugs. It kind of adds to the discomfort for us. Uh, but we better get used to it because I think we're going to be uncomfortable for about eight days. But, well, all part of the experience. Yeah, we're at uh, the prologue at Mirandale Wine Estate near uh, Cape Town. And so we're getting ready to go off of the prologue. Uh, I hope everybody back home is wishing us luck and uh, sending us all the all the good vibes they can because eight days of riding bikes, I don't care who you are, that's a lot of bike ride. They are around a minute behind the fastest time at the moment. So I think they've got about five or six kilometers left to go. So we'll wait and see. Everything went smooth. Uh, Frontisac had a bit of a hard time today to go to speed with Christoph. Uh, he comes from the road and uh, you know he's definitely stronger the longer the stage are. Uh, today was just slightly over an hour and um, yeah he was suffering a little bit but uh, there's many more to come. We've done uh, 20Ks out of 700 uh, and now the race only starts. And I'm sure Franti, as long as the race goes, we'll, we'll step up big time. Day by day and uh, we want to win every day or we want to fight for the podium every day. So we're going to attack now uh, every day and uh, 
and uh, I won that jersey.